Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Brittany with the Seniors Blue Book, and I'm so excited to be live. This is the first time we've actually been live, so everybody be on their best behavior on the call. Um, <laughs> we are just jumping on here this morning to give a big shout out to the nurses that we work with every day out there. Um, there there's not enough words or um, thoughts that can really be um, expressed to thank nurses for what they do, and especially the past year, uh, year plus of everything going on out there. So um, what, what I wanna do is just kind of go around and um, I'll just start with Brandy and introduce yourself um, and where you're at. And then um, if you wanna share an experience with a nurse uh, or just give a shout out to thank them, um, I'll start with you. Absolutely, well, I am Brandy Owens and I am at Cerebella Senior Living. Brand new, just opened. Um, and um, for us, really, I want to say thank you for to all the nurses I've ever worked with for the 3 a.m. patient calls, the 5 a.m. call outs, for the messes we don't want to talk about and the gross stories you have no problem talking about over meals. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we would not be successful at loving our residents the way they deserve without your hard work and dedication. So thank you, thank you. Truly, truly appreciate it. You make our jobs way easier. You make such a great point all around, but especially talking about when we're all sitting down at a meal together, how normal it is to be talking about a stage two wound and all these different things where we're just like, um, okay, maybe next you know, after this meal's over, we can discuss that or? Right. Yes, yeah. This is why I'm in sales and you're in nursing. <laughs> That's, right. That's awesome. So um, let's jump down to Tanya. Hi, good morning. I am Tanya with Inspired Living in Lakewood Ranch. And I just want to say nurses, thank you from the bottom of our hearts, from everyone here at Inspired Living. You guys have put yourselves on the front line. This past year has certainly taken a toll. Um, you have put others first while neglecting yourself in the process. Um, as to what Brandy was saying, you guys do things that we would never think about doing. Um, I don't think y'all get paid enough for that either. <laughs> so um, we thank you so much. As Brandy again said, you make our job so much easier for loving and caring for our residents. Um, so again, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for all of your hard work and dedication. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Rich, it's over to you. Hi, I'm Rich Chicolo, Director of Business Development with both Comfort Keepers and Quality Medical Services. Everywhere I go, I'm just a Chicolo. Um, that's how you can remember me. Um, but you know, we have we have two companies over at Comfort Keepers. We have our our um, we have Comfort Keepers, which is everything non medical caregivers, all that. But we have a private duty um, company called uh, Quality Medical Services that is everything private duty skilled nursing. And you know, I want to give a big shout out to our director of nursing, Kayla Harm. Um, a couple of her standout LPNs and RNs, Ness and Susie, um, especially this year with um, everything that's going on with the pandemic, you know, we're going into people's houses and uh, these nurses were going into um, COVID positive patients' houses, uh, putting themselves at risk. You know, they have families at home, putting their families at risk because our, you know, our clients needed help. And, and the one thing that's, not only with our company, um, but with nurses in general, is they never ask why, they just do it. You know, it's never, should I, they just do it. They just do it, there's no, because it's something inside of them, you know, that they have this, this need, this yearning to want to help people. And um, I'm glad, the, the only thing I'm glad about this pandemic for is that it really shined a light on them and they got the recognition and the, and the love that has been well, you know, well overdue. So thank you to all the nurses out there. Absolutely. I put together a little quick video yesterday um, and it showed the very first image was nurses walking down the hallway and all the superheroes, an image of all the superheroes on the side, like, you know, in awe of them walking through the hospital. Uh -huh. And it's, you know, it's so true. We put a lot of different people on different pedestals, but these nurses, I mean, not just in the last year, but I mean, for always have been superheroes that are walking amongst us. 
So I appreciate you bringing that up because it really did bring a, a great light to everything that they do, their dedication, compassion, caring, all those great things. Um, so thank you, Rich. And yes, you are just a Chickalo everywhere you go. <laughs> all right, let's jump down to Melinda. Thank you, Brittany. Yes, I'm Melinda Haney. I'm at Aviva Senior Living here in Sarasota on Honore. Um, we're a campus of independent, assisted memory and skilled nursing. Uh, we're the only rental that has all levels of care here in Sarasota, which is really lovely for our residents to have that availability of all levels of care um, and rent or lease their, their apartments. Um, in my 20 years of being in senior living, it has been such a pleasure to work with such wonderful nurses. And they aspire to, for me to come every day and be able to know that the residents and families that I promised care to, it's provided by them. And they're the leaders to our teams. And um, here at Aviva, I could not uh, do every day what I do without Teresa Martin and Amy Jackson and Justin Schuler. We have a five-star Benderson skilled nursing unit and deficiency-free surveys. And that takes a lot of work. And it takes a lot of people dedicated every day to do the right things for the right reasons and care and love on these residents. And I know that's happening in our industry um, and other communities and uh, in our uh, county, in other counties um, and through our professional networks. That's one of the things that we all do is we know each other well, we help each other out and through our nurses, um, we, we know they're loving on our residents. And I, I just love um, that we can trust the care is being done. They are an inspiration um, to all of us. So I thank the nurses and um, those that they lead, the CNAs and the LPNs and those that they're training, um, all those that they nurture and that they inspire to bring into the field because we need more nurses. We need more people to decide to be nurses and to go on and get their RNs and uh, BSNs and, and become more people in senior living. So I love that you're doing this today, Brittany. Well said. Um, the word dedication really sticks out because I know from working in senior living communities, just from experience, that position as the director of nursing or director of wellness, they work more hours than a lot of people combined in that in the communities out there. So I definitely want to kind of shine a light on them and and Rich with you know with private duty companies out there. The director of nursing truly wear a big big hat. Um, a lot of times working more hours than the executive directors, and I've seen that firsthand. Um, so just want to say thank you to uh, all the director of nursing and director of wellness. Uh, whatever titles that you are in that hat, you know, that nursing hat at the building, thank you so much um, across the board. So um, everybody that's been on here, thank you so much for joining. Um, again, just wanted to do a quick, um, just sincere thank you to all the nurses out there. And um, I hope everybody that's tuned in um, is thanking a nurse out there. Just go at least thank one today and every day if you can. It is National Nurses Week, but it truly should be an everyday effort for us to thank our nurses. So. All right, everybody, hope you have a great day and thank you again for tuning in. Bye. Bye. Bye.